Right, hey guys. I've just about managed to get this entire thing in the camera shot. Um, for how long it stays in the camera shot, I cannot tell you. And in focus as well, I don't know. So this is going to be my unboxing of the Cooler Master or the CM Storm Striker case. Very nice case. I actually have the Trooper sat next to me in my main, in what was my main system until today. I've decided to move my main system over to the white version, which is the Striker. Um, I opened the box off camera just to make it easier, but I thought I wouldn't ruin the joy of watching me take it out of the box on struggling, although the box has just opened up on the side, off camera. I thought you'd all want to see me struggle to do this. So, without further ado, I'm going to try and do it in the Handles have got stuck a bit. Yep, yeah, that is my arse you probably just saw. Let's put this box down. And that is what the striker looks like upside down. As you can see, it is a very nice looking upside down case. Again, blocking the camera, I'm going to get the foam off, carefully get the foam off. Now I will then sand it off. I think this box took a bit of a beating in um, packaging by the looks of it, the foam is a bit, the box and the foam is a bit dented. First off we have the user manual in English and many other languages. Oh god. That was my foam. I'm just, I have got work in a couple of hours and I was just finding out when I had to start. Right. So, simple use manual. As you can see, you've got the trooper there, striker there. Both they're both the same cases. There's some slight different differences in them. All right, let's take the bag off. And here we have the nicest looking case in the world. It's got the right amount of both black and white on it and it looks fantastic. Um, yep, um, I'm literally on love this case. So let's go over everything here. Now what I'm going to do is something unconventional and take you off of the tripod or the camera and go take you on a magical journey. We will have to do a lot of focusing though. Right, so here we have the power button, LED on off button, power, um, fan, the fan controller, faster fans, slower fans, and there is the LEDs for that as well. And then here we have power LED, hard drive activity LED, microphone, headphone, Two USB 3, two USB 2. On the Trooper, that is a E SATA port, but on the Striker, it isn't. And we've got our reset button. There we have the X dock, which is just a simple sort of plug in an external hard drive sort of thing. So let me just get one out. So Live demonstration, here we have is this your standard 2.5 inch SATA uh, hard drive that you're getting like a laptop or something and you just plug it in like that 
and you're done. I think it does actually go further in than that, but you get the idea. We have all of our different our drive bays, 5.2, 5 inch drive bays. This one's convertible, this bottom one. So there's a CM Storm logo plate which you can remove and come across a box in there that I need to unscrew, which I'll do that in a minute once I've finished getting around the camera. Turns out cases are quite difficult to unbox on your own. Right, first I'll go to this side. Ooh. Nice and simple fan grill there. I'll explain why there's a fan grill there in a second. A nice raised back panel, which is really helpful for cable management. I really like it when you've got cases and the case panel sticks out a little bit at the side because it makes getting all the cables you need behind there a lot easier to get behind there. Once you've got the screws for it. On the roof we have a fan filter, which is very nice. Easy to remove, easy to clean. Water cooling tubes. Um, well, grommets, I have to say, to pass the tubes through. Get my words right now. Fan grill, either 140mm, which is installed by default, or 150mm, um, 120mm, sorry. IO plate, got all your IO there. Uh, grand total, this, this motherboard, um, this case supports e um, XA, XL ATX. I'm really struggling with my words here, aren't I? I've been up too long. Um, got You've got an extra expansion slot now, it's going to be you can either keep and use it to guide cables through for the back, it's now I believe they call it Storm Guard if I remember correctly and it's just to keep, so basically once you've done that you've got, plug your mouse in there, take it through there and then around the front to the case it's got it locked in, it's going to be near often impossible for someone to steal now you have the PSU slot where you have the PSU on top, take you off the tripod again because I just realised that was what I meant when I said the PSU slot, by the way. <laughs> Alright, on top here we have a metal, not a lot of people realise this, but a metal reinforced handle there, as well as a metal reinforced handle there with a nice rubber grip. So it makes it really easy to transport about, as well as striker. Which it's not going to focus on for some odd reason. Oh, turn the case around some more. Right, stick you back on the side panel. Um, on back on the side panel. Look at me. Look at me getting all my words modelled up. Put you back on the tripod. So here we have a nice finished window to display in everything you want to see, i.e the main component area of the case. Don't really want to see the hard drive to do you, or the, well, the hard drive cage, so what's the point of having a window now? There we have a fan grill like this on the other side, which I'll now get into why we have a fan grill there. Because there's something very unique about this case that you might not have seen. This is, the case has been out there for a while now, over about a year I think the striker has and about year and a half with a trooper so it's quite an old case but you might not have seen it by now there you have it you have the fans white fans these have white um, red LEDs I believe they have in there now you might be looking at that and thinking right well no case I've ever seen has a setup like that. What about if I don't want a setup like that because it's different and doesn't cool anything inside? Well, this has a modular design and you can take them out and put them in the other way. If you want to see more on that, go to my build log I'm going to be doing around this old case. I'm going to have a whole video based around building in this case. That will be uploaded in a couple of days' time, hopefully. So, in there we have support for 
I believe, I can't actually remember the exact number of hard drives it supports. How cruel of me, I'm going to have to refer to the box. Three, eight. It supports up to eight hard drives, so four in each of these cages. And then we have support for four SSDs in this bottom cage here. And that's where you can see the power supply mount, which also has its own fan filter, which I can't actually get to. There we go, nice fan filter. Okay, what do we have up here? We have a nice box of stuff. What is in this box of ours? Ah, all the hard drive pages. Okay. I don't actually need because I don't. Well, I'm going to have one hard drive in this system. It's going to, the rest is going to be SSDs. So, I'll go over. So, the motherboards, this supports all of the important motherboard uh, sizes from micro ATX, micro ATX up to XL ATX. you got nice selection of nice flexible cable management grommets. It's really good to have them flexible because it's easier to get your cables through. It's nothing more annoying than trying to stick a cable through and because they're so, the flaps on these are so stiff the grommet goes through along with the cable. It just makes no sense so having these nice and flexible is a nice thing. We've got all our front panel connectors including front USB 3, front audio for both AC 97 and HD and got front USB 3 reset switch, HD LED, power switch and a spare 2 pin connector. I'll explain what the 2 pin connectors are in my build log. I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet because I have to go and having a quick look at my phone I have to go into work a lot earlier than I thought I had to and I'm quickly running out of time. And if I, so I'm going to do this on camera, I'm going to take the drawer out. This is a very nice idea in this, it's a, oh, it's a stealth drawer and the idea behind it is that if you had taken this, cam, this case to a LAN party, some sort of LAN competition and you know you keep your, you keep your phone and your wallet in this drawer, screw it up so no one can get it out and there you go, no one can steal your phone unless they steal your entire computer. Right, so and this is what the drawer looks like, I'm actually going to turn the screen around so I don't have to keep looking behind the camera. So you've got the drawer, put the lid off and now we have all the accessories. So, I mean, I'm not really going to get all these different screws out because it's going to be quite a challenge to put them back away. But what we have is we have a conversion there. So that will allow you to use the 3.5 inch external drive bay for like a floppy disk if you really still use floppy drives. We've got some very weak looking cable management uh, cable ties. We've got an 8 pin extension which is really nice to see. Um, a problem you get with quite a lot of these taller cases that have more room for bigger motherboards is some older power supplies don't actually have an 8 pin that can reach all the way up behind the case out the front and into the connector. So having the extension is really good. We have a motherboard speaker, a series of screws and standoffs. Um, so that concludes the unboxing. Um, remember there'll be high de highly detailed pictures of this on my Facebook page and there's a link in the description for that. So head over there if you want to see some nice pictures of the striker. And if remember to comment, rate and subscribe and all that stuff.
Thanks for watching and goodbye.